Hello everybody, welcome to our first segment on grading. This segment is going to focus on grading feature lines. So in order to create a grading object, you're going to need first some feature lines to build off of. A uh, grading object could be anything from a parking lot to a storm pond to a building or a well site pad. Uh, but you're going to need some existing geometry first. So the first uh, thing we're going to need to do is uh, create some feature lines and uh, the easiest way to create some feature lines is by first starting off with some ordinary AutoCAD geometry and uh, you can see here I've got uh, uh, just a simple polyline, a 2D polyline here and uh, we're going to create maybe a building pad uh, on this site. So what we'll need to do is convert this polyline into a feature line and uh, you can do that pretty easily by going to your home tab going to the feature line section and you can create feature lines from objects. Notice here you can also create feature lines from scratch if you like but uh, it's just as easy to create the geometry uh, through AutoCAD objects. So I'm going to go create feature uh, lines from objects go ahead and select your uh, polyline. Notice it also works with ordinary lines, circles, any uh, AutoCAD geometry will do and it doesn't have to have an elevation as of yet. Uh, right now my polyline is at uh, 2D elevation, that's fine. I'm gonna say enter and that's gonna come up and it's gonna ask me some questions here. So notice it asks me, it gives me the option to put it in a site. If you're gonna use these feature lines for a grading object, then I would suggest definitely putting it in a site. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my site. I'm gonna call it building pad and I'm going to keep my feature lines and all my other grading objects over in the site once it's created over here in my prospector tab. So I'll say OK and uh, you can go with the defaults here. You can erase those existing uh, polylines or lines and uh, say OK. So you'll see here now it's changed this polyline into a feature line and when I select it I get a whole bunch of additional tools. So a feature line is like a uh, intelligent polyline. It's got a, a bunch of uh, additional special features. So the first thing that we'll need to do is uh, assign some elevations to our polyline because right now our polyline is at an elevation of zero that you can see here and uh, will probably want to provide some elevations to that polyline. So you'll notice that my surface, if I hover my mouse around the surface, my uh, existing ground surface is at around 646 uh, meters or 645 meters above uh, mean sea level. So I'm going to probably want to create uh, my feature line with elevations slightly above that uh, just to provide some drainage. So I'm going to go ahead and select that feature line and you'll notice up at the top here I can use my elevation editor to select those uh, uh, those vertices. So I've got uh, all my vertices listed here. You can go ahead and select them all uh, at once if you like and uh, provide an elevation as needed. So if you know what elevations you want uh, then you can go ahead and add them in there uh, that way. Now if you don't and you would like uh, to assign the elevations based on the elevations of the surface around it you can go ahead and use this tool right here uh, which is your elevations from surface tool. So you want to select all of the vertices in the rows like, you, like you've seen I've done there. Uh, go ahead and click that button. Uh, it's going to ask you what surface you want to pull the elevations from and uh, go ahead and say OK. And notice here now it's applied an elevation at that vertice of what the existing ground topo elevation is. So um, we might want to adjust that because we want a flat building pad. So you can go ahead and select all of the rows if you want and maybe just give it an elevation, maybe a half meter or a meter above. So I will provide a elevation of 647 for all of my points that'll uh, raise it up slightly above the existing ground surface and uh, have one consistent elevation across that building pad. And go ahead and close that box and uh, Notice also up on your ribbon you can insert uh, elevation points, you can insert PI points if you like and make any adjustments uh, as needed and always go back into that elevation editor and make the changes that way and in that elevator, elevation editor notice here you've got some raise elevations so if you want you can go ahead and raise it up by however amount you would like uh, as a whole, set the value, raise everything up or lower everything as well. And you also have some other tools in here in which you can add and add delete vertices also. 
Now if you take a look over in the prospector tab, you should find your site that you have created and there will be a feature line section in there. So I would suggest uh, you will probably want to keep all of your feature lines in a site because your parcel or sorry your grading group will later be contained inside that site too. So that's uh, about it for feature lines. Thanks for watching folks. Bye now.